on this International Women's Day, 8th March, I take this opportunity to congratulate all women across the country, across the globe, not just women in science, but women in every field of life, because this is an important day to recognize their contributions to each aspect of our life. The economic growth, the social aspects, the education, health, agriculture. Women play a very important role. And specifically, women in STEM is something that we are all now working towards seeing how their role in that can not only just be enhanced, but the contributions which they have made can be brought to the forefront. The Department of Biotechnology, as also the Department of Science and Technology, Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, Indian Council of Medical Research, the entire government ecosystem, the Ministry of Women and Child Development, we're all collectively working together to see how we could promote women in STEM, try and see how we can capture the young minds, nurture them, empower them, and give them that level of confidence to be able to move forward in this field of STEM, to be able to be our future leaders. We have within the Department of Biotechnology, many such uh, schemes, many such opportunities, which we make available, whether it's our biocare scheme, through which we give opportunities for our researchers to get mainstreamed, the employed and the unemployed, or recognizing their excellence through our Janki Amal National Women Bioscience Awards, or also the way we work with our budding entrepreneurs. We have special women biotech parks. The first one, the Golden Jubilee Biotech Park was set up in Chennai. And since then, we now have a number of them across the country. We also encourage women entrepreneurs through a special program, Winner, in which we've worked with Thai, we work with many other such organizations to recognize the wonderful ideas of women and empower them. I think the whole point here is women have a lot of strength. It's a mindset that says that they cannot really move forward in certain fields. Today, women have been able to show their strength in every field that they have moved into. And I think this is really what we need to focus on, building leadership, strengthening the base so that we have larger numbers, and engaging with them at leadership positions, empowering them, helping them to identify their own strengths so that they can then contribute in the policy making, in the decision making, and be leaders, not just for themselves, but also role models for our future and budding women entrepreneurs, women scientists, young scientists. So once again, my compliments. I'm really confident that moving ahead, we will be able to take this women empowerment program that we have to much greater heights. And we will be able to show the world that India not only has wonderful policies which enable this empowerment, but our role models, our leaders are going to lead from the front and we will be able to match all standards, all benchmarks that we are putting for ourselves. I think this is the right time for us to recognize the strength, to bring out the inherent strength and to be able to help them to then identify what really is that particular career which they would want to get into and help them to take that forward. We are so proud of our women. Today, numbers are increasing, but we are also confident that it's not just numbers. It's also the quality, the merit with which they come stand up. They, it's the gender diversity. They, they actually match with uh, all other counterparts. And that is the strength that we are trying to build. So compliments to everybody. And I'm sure in this Women International Women's Day, we all pledge that we will take up empowerment in a big way so that we can meet and fulfill our goal 
of equal opportunities. Thank you so much and compliments to you.